And we captured them. We shot them immediately. <laughs> that was it. There's no ifs, ands, or buts. Um, that's what you do to spies. Um, and, you know, Sinwar purged the, the Palestinian ranks of spies, uh, was very effective in this matter. He got arrested by the Israelis, uh, sentenced to four consecutive life terms uh, for his role in the, uh, in not only in the killing of Israeli assets, but I think in the, uh, in the death of two Israeli soldiers. Um, but he was exchanged, well, while he was in prison, this is a man who, um, you know, you can just tell a lot, he became a leader in prison of the Palestinians and Hamas. So even from prison, he became a leader by through the example that he set. Um, very educated, uh, wrote a book, uh, The Thorn in, uh, I think, The Thorn in the Carnation, uh, about his experience as an autobiographical work of fiction. Um, but he also learned about the Israelis, got in, learned about their mind, learned to read Hebrew, think like this, his enemy. And when he was released in a prisoner exchange in 2011, um, he immediately rose up in the ranks and, again, became a, a dominant figure. Um, but he always said that he was marked for death. I mean, that's the thing the Israelis don't understand. When, you know, people like Yahya Sin, Sinwar and uh, people like uh, Hassan Nasrallah understand the Israelis want to kill them. So you don't create an organization that collapses like a house of cards if you die. You are a product of an organization that is built upon uh, an ideology uh, that is premised on the Palestinian statehood, a notion that resides in the hearts and the minds of every Palestinian. You happen to be at the top of it, but when you get eliminated, that's just a body dying. 